The Back to War DLC has released. If you pre-ordered the game, you now have access to a few very fun factions from Steel Division 1, including the second Blinde and the... let's actually go through this this way. We have the third Armored for the US, the 15th Infantry and the third Canadian Infantry. And we also have the 21st Panther, Panzer 116th Panzer, the Panzer Layer, and I believe that is it. But yeah, that's a lot of armor. And the 352nd Infantry, actually. That is a ton of fun. Today we're going to be looking at the 2nd Blind Day, since that is definitely my favorite um, division to play with, because of its quick response that it has, because of all the fast vehicles, like the M8... Um, the M8... Uh, I forgot the name of it. But anyways, yeah, the M8s. We're going to go through it, and off after this we'll go through my personal selection, and uh, yeah, we'll see. we'll see if this could be a deck for you. But um, yeah, a lot of new things. In the recon tab, first of all, we have the two-man recon team with two Thompson machine guns. And interestingly enough, they do the same amount of suppression as the PPSHs. Surprise, surprise. So one Thompson does eight suppression and 26 blast, and that is the same as the PPSH. The range and accuracy is excellent as well, and the rate of fire is great. So definitely infantry with PPSHs, you can deal with them if you have infantry with Thompsons. So we have the Jeep over here, and by the way, this guy's, these guys have very high optics and good stealth. We have a Jeep 50 cal, so good fire support as well, besides just recon. 1000 meters range on those 50 cals as well, and they do a lot of damage. It's definitely worth checking these out. <clears throat> we have the Spahis recon unit, 4-man squad with 2 Thompsons and 2 Carbines. Once again, really good accuracy on these. Just in general, um, the French infantry has, has good accuracy on most of their vehicles and infantry. Very high optics, exceptional stealth. We have the sidecar, funny looking uh, looking recon here with the uh, beret there, MG34 on it, medium stealth, high optics. But yeah, now the M8 here, so 37mm tank gun on it, 90mm penetration, max range, 40mm accuracy, and it has a 50 cal and a 30 cal. This thing is great, if you want to do like a fast recon push or just a fast push in general, you can do that with 90 kilometers per hour, and you get six in phase eight. That is, that is pretty darn good. We also have the M3A3 Spahis. This is the Stewart, 37 millimeter gun, the M6. Decent stats, not too bad, and two 30 cal's. And we also have the Sherman here, the 75 uh, millimeter, 90 mil penetration instead of 70 on the Stewart. Same range and accuracy, same rate of fire as well. And all of these guys have pretty pretty okay stats, like high optics, that's that's pretty good for a tank. So in the recon tab we have the Voltige, I'm probably gonna mispronounce that. Uh, one Thompson, one Carbine and eight M1 Garands. Really good at medium range, decent at close range, like one Thompson will definitely still be able to do some stunning damage there. These guys come in a wide variety of vehicles, like um, the M5A1 with the uh, the 50 cal, I believe. Yep. So you get a lot of 50 cals. Remember that. We also have the CPD Voltiers with the Thompsons, M3 Carbines, and an M1 Bazooka. So really good leader units. And once again, these guys come in a wide variety of vehicles, including these uh, Jeeps with the 50s. We have the Nuev, kind of like your yeah your light infantry, two Thompsons, seven M1s, and an MG34. So pretty good 10-man squad there. Loads of vehicles to choose out of as well. Lots of armed vehicles. We have the Volunteers. Three Sten submachine guns, eight carbines, and the FM. Interestingly, the FM actually has a higher accuracy than the MG34. Yeah, 10% instead of 5%. And the rest of the stats is the same. The rate of fire is lower, so that might actually be the reason for the higher accuracy. We have the Command Sapers, two Thompsons, two M1s, and a TNT. They once again come in a wide variety of vehicles. Pioneers, six-man team with flamethrowers and smoke nades. And two Thompsons and three M1 carbines. I think that is going to be a really important infantry to have in this deck. We have some Sapers, two Thompsons, and eight M1s, a Bazooka, and TNT. So really good all-around assault squad, 10-man team. Yeah. They, they can they can do a lot of a wide variety of things they can engage infantry really well 
with the TNT and the two Thompsons, but also take down tanks at pretty good range. And once again, 50 cals everywhere. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got the Voltigays with the two Browning 30 cals here, 7.62. That is a really good unit. Thompson Machine Gun, M1 Garand, or Carbine, and six M1 Garand. Yeah. Really good infantry. In the tanks, it gets pretty fun. So we have two cards of these M8s, and technically you can get 20 of them in Phase A. They only cost 25 points. They have a 37 mil with 90 mil penetration, 40 mil accuracy, and they have 50 cals and 30, well, a 50 cal and a 30 cal. And they're really quick. So you can definitely do some quick attacks with this. We also have the Command M3A3 Stewart with the 37 mil and two 30 cals. We have the M5A1 Light Tank Stewart, 37 mil and two 30 cals. So pretty good amount of light tanks. We have the Sherman here with the 75 mil, 50 cal and two 30 cals. So definitely a good machine gun um, anti-infantry tank as well. Yeah, we have a we have a lot of these. There's definitely no shortage of Shermans. We also have the M4A A376 mil uh, char tank, the Sherman. Really good gun on it. Definitely, if you bring it out in phase C, you might have some trouble, since you will be up against um, up against any German tank really that comes in phase C. So you 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 might be in trouble here. But pretty good penetration. 230 cals and a 50 cal as well. So definitely an A and B phase deck, um, more so than a C phase. In the support tab, we do have some two-man squad flamethrowers. If you do not use those suppers in the A phase or suppers in the infantry tab, 7.62 machine gun, the Browning 30 cal, 1,000 meters range, four strength, a lot of vehicles to choose out of. We have the Obuse M8. Assault gun, pretty good assault gun. 75mm with a lot of HE power, that's for sure, and also has a 50 cal on top. Pretty good road speed, too. You have the M20 Command. We have some supplies. And interestingly, these are lightly armored. So if you do get countered a lot, and if you do lose your supply trucks pretty quick, you might use these instead. Finally, the 50 cal squads. I've missed these. These do so much damage. 1500 meters range, they do penetrate as well, and yeah, just a load of damage. These are great. And you get three cards of these. Commander Infantry, Obuse M4, so Sherman with an assault gun, 105mm HE, also a 50 cal and some 30 cals. And you can get quite a lot of these in phase B actually. We also have the M4A3, and the main difference here is that the M4A3 also has heat shell, so it can actually engage tanks too. And the M475 command. So that's a lot of M4s. In the anti-tank, we have the bazooka team, two-man team with the M1 bazooka and two Thompsons. Might be an interesting unit to use. We also have the Fusilier Marines in phase A. I've actually not put these in my deck, I might do that. Exceptional stealth. So that might be worth it. We have the 57 mil here. Work in progress, it says, yeah, 57mm AP shells, that's pretty good. And then we have the M10A1 Wolverine Tank Destroyer. This thing would be the backbone if you're doing a phase B push. Okay, let's see what we got in the anti-air tab. We have the self-propelled SDKFZ-11 Flak, 20mm Flak autocannons. We have some bow force here. Once again, just a work in progress thing, don't worry about it. 40mm, 2500m range really good blast yeah these are these are gun these, these actually smash pretty well and we also have the gmc bow force you might have seen this in steel division one just like any of these units but these are really mobile and they will smash as well like 2500 meters range that is really impressive in the artillery we have leaders in the artillery tab we also have mortars 60 millimeters 1800 rounds per uh, meters range that's pretty good and also about two rounds well around per two seconds that's a really high rate of fire we have an off-map artillery observer 105 millimeter 
M21 mortars with a 50 cal on it. 3,000 meters range. So that is a really quick reaction mortar right there. You have the M7 with the uh, in the M3 Lee chassis, I believe. 105 millimeter howitzer. Max range, one round, 10 seconds. Pretty good overall stats. I've used these a few times and they're actually pretty good. Especially if you have a corrected shot. We also have the M4A2 Artillery Observer with the 155mm and this thing comes with some machine guns. The gun actually does not work on it, which is a shame, but uh, yeah, that might be something. In the airplane we have a recon, the, the Piper here. It's, it's a decent one, it's the only one you have, so no choice. Now we have a smoke plane. This is something that I use a lot in CU Division 1 to block off the line of sight really quickly, um, especially if I'm doing a push. And these line up a really big range. 450 cals on the nose and also 150 on the turret. We have the Spitfires here, 220 mils and 250 cals. Really fast planes, very good agility as well. And optics is decent. You get two on phase A and at maximum four in phase B and eight in phase C. We also have the P-30HJ heavy fighter with a 20 millimeter auto cannon and 450 cal, 640 kilometers per hour. That's absolutely insane. It's a really funny looking plane too. P-39J with six 110 millimeter rockets. And also the same machi machine guns that the other one has, a little bit slower because of the rockets. And we also have a bomber variant with two 450 kilogram HE bombs. So yeah, not too bad. All right, let's look at my selection here and I might make some adjustments to it. So we have the two man recon team that we looked at earlier because if I do use infantry recon it's mainly to flank around or try to sneak them behind enemy lines. So it might as well go for these instead of something that might get spotted easier. I mean, they both have exceptional stealth. Um, actually, why does why does the four-man squad have better stealth? Well, there you go. I learned something. I don't think that's supposed to be. That is weird. All right. Well, there you go. Made a change. In phase A, we also have four of these guys on mid fat, the M8s, with the 37 mil and the 50 cals and the 30 cals. Pretty good recon, really fast, and uh, pretty good optics high optics so definitely worth getting in there and we also have some uh, shermans in phase b as recon as well to help with our tank pushes the infantry tab we have the okay we do have these full TAs. so we have the command suppers in phase a three of these with the thompsons and the tnts which i might actually swap over for the bazookas but then again, you get one less commander. And since you're already kind of low on infantry, you don't want to necessarily go um, and dial down on the infantry that much. In phase A, we have some sappers, really good infantry. Two Thompsons, machine like the M1 Garand, Bazookas, TNTs. We also have the Voltigays with the two Browning 30s. They also come with the Thompsons and M1 Carbines and Garand. Pretty good unit. You get four of them, so do use these defensive, I would say. In phase B, we have the volunteers here, good reinforcement infantry. We have some pioneers to help out with any infantry that doesn't move out after we whip out 20 of these. And we also have some suppers with the bazookas. No phase C, um, because yeah, there won't be enough for phase A or B, to be honest with you. In the tank tab, it's pretty bleak actually. I've not filled it up too much. And if I think about it now, one thing that I could do is remove either some AA or an airplane or a bazooka unit because what I have here in phase A is these suppers so they already have bazookas so let's go ahead and remove that and we can get some more tanks there you go in the tanks in phase A we have these M8s once again seven of these on mid fat that is it I could actually go with some uh, M4A2s which might be a really good balance to have in um, A phase. You get six cards of these. Yeah, might as well. That should balance that out a bit. In B, we have command M4A2s and also the regular M4A2s. 
and we have the Char M4A2, M4A3 with a 76 mil. So what I might also get is some more Phase B um, M4A2s. And that way I should have plenty of firepower in Phase B. In Phase C we're just gonna <clears throat> play defensive at that side. In the support tab we have supplies in A, the 50 cals in A, really good fire support to have. Um, I do keep them on the mid fats since these guys have long range and yeah I might actually go for the lowest fat to be honest with you here now do keep in mind that we can have a lot of different types of vehicles so here we have the M5A1s with the 50 cals the volunteers don't get anything but you can always change them up to something that is a little bit faster but has less firepower so keep that in mind <clears throat> we also have the commander in phase A more supplies in phase B and also more 50 cals in phase B. I didn't go for any fire support. One thing they that I could perhaps do is remove the 50s from phase B and get some of these assault guns which might be one thing. So that does 1800 blast and M4 does 20... Jesus fly just almost flew into my eye <laughs> so this does 2300 blast and the OBZ does 1800 but yeah and the tanks themselves do much less but uh, still enough I think to sacrifice sacrifice having a card of these but yeah it depends on your playstyle I would say in the anti-tank tab, mostly anti-tank guns. We do have these TDs here, just to help in phase B with some more firepower, because most of these guys don't touch the 130 mil, except for these 76s. So some extra firepower does not hurt. In phase A, we have three of these 57 mils. Really good AT guns. I've had a lot of fun with these. 12 rounds per minute as well. Really fast. There's also the Fusilier Marines that you could go for. But uh, since I'm more armored based and I have infantry that has bazookas, we went for the TD once again. And a phase B, more of these 57 mils. So pretty, pretty good. In the anti-air tab, we have two flags in phase A. Fast, self-propelled autocannon artillery. Two bow force in phase A and a phase B, we have the self-propelled bow force. And I've noticed that that together usually is enough AA. What you could also do is sacrifice these flags from phase A and get these both fours in phase B or get some more in phase C. But I do like some uh, self-propelled AA early on. In the artillery tab, pretty bleak actually. I've uh, definitely not invested enough, but now that we have one more point, I will be doing that. So we have the four M21 mortars in phase A, four of these M7s, one of five mils. And what I could also get is either more of those or get the M4A2 off map observer. You only get two of these um, and it's only 155 mils. So I am personally leaning towards getting four more of these and together that should do it. But um, yeah, this is a Vanguard deck. Pushing in phase C is probably not going to happen, but in case I'm playing defensive in phase A and B, I will still get lots of points there and I can just use the units that I have in A and B. Maverick, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it. It could honestly still work with Maverick. And you only get 30 less points in phase C. So that might be something to do. But yeah, since I'm really pushing up early, probably want some more points in A and go for that Vanguard deck. In the air tab, we kind of forgot about that, I think. Did we go over this? Yeah, we have the recon tab here. Or the recon plane. I didn't go over this, actually. We have the smoke plane in phase A. We have two of these pit fires on the lowest fat with the 220 mils and the 250s. And in phase B, we have them on mid fat, um, two again. And we also have some bombers in phase B. We have the kind of like the carpet bomber here with the 8 110 kilograms. But you could also go with these. The main difference here is actually that the DB73 is faster than the P38. And with bombs, I usually notice that faster bombs. They're just better in general. Oh yeah, that was it. Check out the code. Code is down in the description. If you pre-order it, you will be able to use it. And 
and if not, um, I guess I'll see you on the battlefield with the French. Take care.